northerly wind, just 16 degrees here, and a cool, blustery day across Wales with further showers rattling in on that westerly wind. Now, those showers will be very slow to ease off overnight. In fact, a number of places, they'll keep going all night, for example, along the M4 corridor. But uh, some places will eventually turn dry as we get into the early hours. Numerically, it won't be a cold night, but you add on that breeze, it will feel fresh as we start the day on Tuesday. Another showery day. No two days are exactly the same, particularly when it comes to showers, but I think there'll be a number of uh, heavy thunderstorms again, particularly across central and eastern parts of England. If anything, the showers tend to die out later on across parts of Northern Ireland, Western Scotland, for example. Another cool day, if anything cooler, the wind coming down from the north. We keep that northerly wind going on Wednesday, so no heat wave, but the showers diminishing, just a few left across the eastern parts of England. Elsewhere drier, but uh, the sunshine fairly limited, a fair amount of cloud around as we go through the middle part of the week. Those cool northerly winds persisting, but the low pressure responsible for the showers easing away with high pressure trying to nudge in from the west. A slow old process, but if you've got a hall barometer at home, you might notice it uh, flicking away from way, uh, rain, eventually edging around too fair. So drier conditions, not a lot of sunshine, a fair amount of cloud at times, but I'm fairly optimistic that for the ashes, which start in Cardiff, We'll have three fine days with uh, very little in the way of rain. But come the weekend, I'm afraid the rain clouds return again, an unsettled outlook.